Ich habe mich gefragt, ob ich mich rasch ein Fisch und Tauberst an dir. Mein Name ist Christian Gamow und ich bin wirklich excited to be working again on some photography skills with you this weekend. So for those of you who have taken part at the previous Fisch in November and then again just a month ago in February, welcome back. And for those of you who, uh, for whom this is the first weekend, thank you so much for joining us today. So I'm going to start by talking through the plan for this weekend and as always you're going to receive three videos over the weekend so there's this one right now and then you'll get two more tomorrow one in the morning and then one in the evening and then on Sunday we'll also have a chance to chat on zoom uh, live and um, we'll be able to talk through the lessons answer any questions you may have and we'll have a chat about some of the tasks that I've set you as well. In today's video I want to introduce some of the main themes of the week and I'm also going to give you a small task that we're going to work on over the weekend. Um, the task is really just an excuse for you to start taking photos either outside or in your home and I've kept them, I've kept the task as open as possible so there are no wrong ways to do it and just um, have some fun with it. Uh, I'll come back to the task later but for now let's get started on this week's lesson. Okay. So this week's theme is light. Light is in quite a literal sense the foundation of all photography and being mindful of different types of light and how to use it will really make a big change in our photography. So you may have heard photographers talk about things like soft light or hard light or the golden hour and we're going to talk through all of these things and how to recognize them. Just as a disclaimer I do want to keep the technical parts to a minimum But regardless of the technical aspects, I think it's really important to think about light and to care about the light in your photo. Light is not just about making a photo that looks nice, it helps us to create a story or drama or a mood. And I'm mostly going to be talking about natural light this week, as I think it's really important to be able to use the light that's already around you well, before you start adding flash, which to be honest is a bit of a whole other story. So tomorrow we'll go a little bit more into how you would use different lights to your advantage because there is no such thing as bad light. Um, there's only light that's suitable to your photo and light that makes taking the photo that you want a bit more difficult. So if we're talking about natural or ambient light, there are four qualities that we can describe and think of. So these are intensity, direction, temperature and quality. Intensity is the overall brightness. So you can estimate how intense the light is based on the balance between shadows, so that's the darker areas in your, in your, in your image, and highlights, so the lighter areas. Uh, this distinction between highlights and shadows is also known as contrast. Quality is another characteristic and it describes whether light is soft or hard. So the smaller the light source is compared to the subject, the harder the quality. And as the light spreads and becomes bigger, um, the quality also becomes softer. The direction of light changes due to the sun's movement, creating different sorts of moods as well. So given that the sun is below the horizon at dawn and twilight, almost horizontal at sunrise, and its highest and nearly vertical midday, uh, for, for shooting at these different times of day produces really different images. And then finally, there's color temperature, and that refers to the various shades of color that are produced by different light sources. And again, uh, if we're talking about sunlight, it, it really changes uh, depending on the time of day. Two sorts of light in particular that I want you to think about are hard light and soft light, or we could think of it as direct light and diffused light. So I really want to hone in on this as it's super useful for every photograph you will ever take. And the main thing I want us to think about here is intensity, where with hard light you also have a very high contrast in your scene. So in terms of time of day, light is usually hardest and the most intense at noon, when the sun is directly overhead. And contrast at noon, because of that, is high and it tends to make shadows more pronounced. 
You can also recreate hard light in a studio setting, of course, or you might accidentally find hard light inside anyway. Think of the light created if you just have a single light bulb in a room. Hard light offers many possibilities to create striking images. For instance, you can create interesting images by taking shadows that fall away from your subject, subject or you use dramatic lighting in the face. And you see this a lot in portraits um, where it really creates a lot of drama. Essentially, the opposite, if you will, is soft or diffuse light. So if we're thinking about where you would find this sort of light in the natural world, you want to think of the light on an overcast or cloudy day. So snow, fog, air pollution or shaded area can also often soften the light in a scene. In terms of the time of day, uh, light and contrast are more soft and less intense early in the morning or in the evening. And it means that light and dark areas are softened and you get mild shadows and very soft edges. Let's be honest, if we're taking photos in Scotland, at least at this time of year, quite often you will be working in soft light or diffused light. And you can really create magnificent photographs by finding some open shade, such as under a tree or a tent, to photograph your subject in as well. Tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about how to use the light around you to your advantage. I just want to set you a short task today. So today was a little bit more theoretical to start us off and given the time scale I don't really expect you to be able to wait for lots of different light situations in a short time. So what I would like you to do today is to go through some of your old photos. It could be some that you've taken for this course for example um, if you've taken part before um, and especially for outdoor photos and to take a close look at the light in these pictures and think was this soft light, was this hard light, how does this work in the image? And I would like you to pick one photo each, so one with really hard light and one with really soft light. You know that I like to give you a theme for these challenges and of course it's just a little bit of fun, so you can be as literal or as vague as you want. As this is a course for fish, uh, I think we may as well brush up on our garlic a little bit, so I could certainly do with that at the moment. So the theme for this weekend is colors or nadahen. Choose one color that you're going to relate all the pictures to over this weekend. When it's time to save them and upload them to the Dropbox, please make sure to save them with your name, the color you've chosen, and then just put soft or hard. All right, that's us for today. So we'll see you tomorrow.
Pusu.